Why, hello! I am Lucky, and today we're going to be doing a Let's Talk, Let's Play Diablo 3, and I am playing Seasons currently, and I am on my Barbarian, the only character I made this season. Um, and for those of you who are new here, I am using the Riker build, which I am so disappointed in the Riker build. I have... St I'm going to stick that for a different video because I have a lot to say about why I do not like the Riker build. Um, but anyway, I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about Diablo 3 memories in this video because it gives me something to talk about as I play the game I'm addicted to. And my buddy Demonism, who is an awesome, 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 can I say awesome one more time? Demon Hunter, who's usually pulling me through everything, um, is going to join for the fun, but he's not going to talk because he doesn't have a mic. QQ, maybe next time. Um, uh, but anyway, let's see. Currently, I guess I'll start this video. Hold on. I'm a little tongue-tied today because I've not done a video in a while, and, you know, sometimes, you know, you get a little slow. But anyway, on launch day, I got Diablo 3, which was years and years ago, and I actually went to the GameStop party for the launch day, and it was kind of interesting because most of the people there were just like weirdos. I don't mean to be judgmental or anything, but it's like they didn't know anything about gaming. And, you know, some of them just seemed like they were there to just do something, you know. Um, but anyway, it was kind of fun, but I went with my buddy uh, Mount Granic, who actually did not get Diablo 3 on the launch day. He ended up getting Max Payne. Isn't that kind of weird? And to make things even more interesting, I guess I'm a little slow poking this riff. Um, he ended up winning the huge cardboard standout, cardboard stand-up, I cannot talk today, um, of the Diablo 3 um, box. And I'm so jealous of that because it's huge and awesome, even though I would not know where to put it. But he ended up winning it even though he wasn't getting Diablo 3. And he's telling me to teleport because I'm such a slowpoke. Um, so yeah, he knows I'm doing a video and just ranting away, being a slacker. Pull me some more. So anyways, I was so excited about playing Diablo 3 with my friends that I even started a little Facebook group with a couple of my friends. Um, big shout out to Kaylee, who was there from the beginning. And, you know, the horrors of the login, the first uh, couple hours, you cannot log in. You got the game and you just sat there with login issues and I did not get to play Diablo until like three in the morning, maybe it was even four. I know I went to bed that day at like 9 a.m. and it was ridiculous because I was so tired, but I was so pumped up on caffeine because GameStop gave away uh, five hour energies and on top of that I picked up a couple monsters and while I was waiting I was just like, yeah I'm gonna get like max level in like one day. Well, that never came because you know me, I'm such a slacker when it comes to games that if it bores me, I won't play it. I'll lose interest and just leave it to rot on the side. That is one of my downfalls. Should I save that for a roasting challenge video? Um, but anyways, I did I did log into Diablo and I think I got to like level 30 in the first day and you know, that's okay for back then because back then levels took a while. Trust me, we didn't have all this adventure mode and powerful gear and people to push us around. God, I sound like I'm like 90 talking about like back in my day. Um, but yeah, I did not get to 60 way like close to when Reapers of Souls came out because I was a slacker and I got bored of the game and everyone I knew who were playing, who got Diablo on launch day just quit, you know. And what's funny is Mount Granic, like when I quit Diablo 3, he ended up getting it and he bypassed me like by far even though it's funny now because I'm farther than him. And why am I killing this stuff when the rift is closing and I gotta go get this my loot. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was an interesting like launch day and like interesting like start to getting into Diablo 3 because I was not a fan of Diablo 3. I found it to be really boring and I was all like, Anarchy Online, baby! Um, I'm gonna ask him if he wants to do a greater rift and I will try not to slack as much. I have to give my like self time to like breathe. Ooh, greater rift 60. Yeah, yes! So anyway, the day Reaper of Souls came out, I was teamed up with um, Mount Granic and 
my brother came along later on. And what's funny is I actually got to 70 within that day. It was it was insane. You know, it didn't take that long, but it was just, you know, sitting on your butt for that long when it's like the same as I die. It's like the same thing over and over again. Like nowadays I can do it with like no problem because I'm so used to it. I guess it's like I don't know. Maybe my butt developed calluses. I don't know. But I have no problem in playing Diablo for hours without getting bored. Or just maybe my, like, mental capability just shrunk or something. I really don't have an explanation for it. But, yeah, Reapers of Soul Day was really fun as I'm dying. Bravo, Lucky, bravo. This is why people don't want to team with me. You know what? I'm going to blame it on my build because I do not like the Riker build. The Riker build is... Oh, like... Seriously, I'd rather eat a sardine sandwich, and I don't even eat meat. I don't even know what sardines taste like, to be honest. But I'm guessing it's not very good, because it's like, fishy, fishy, blah. So, anyways, I also remember the auction house. I was around for that, and I know I'm not exactly in line with what I've been talking about, because as soon as Ripper of Souls came out, the auction house was like, what what's the auction house? But I remember selling stuff on the auction house to get uh, gold. This is when gold was a little scarce and you know, you wanted that extra gold. Or you could also sell stuff for real life money, which I didn't do, but I know a couple of people that did, including my brother Tops. But the first thing I ever bought on the auction house was an item for my barbarian at the time. And it was the Spectrum Blade, and uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, that's the Rainbow Sword. And I literally spent like all my gold on this sword that gave me like 0.1% more damage. It was like ridiculous. I just wanted it because it was a Rainbow Sword. And um, yeah, I kind of missed the auction house. It gave me something to uh, spend my gold on. And speaking of Mount Granite, he just hopped on. Maybe he'll come hop in game and join after this rift, even though, you know, I'm doing terrible. Um, another thing about Diablo is I hated Seasons. I thought Seasons was the biggest waste of time, and I hate Green Goo. I never understood what a Seasons, like, it just, it didn't make any sense to me, re-rolling a character from start and... You know, starting from scratch when you have your main character that you could be working on. Nonetheless, I ended up getting addicted to Seasons. Seasons is so much fun. Now I kind of like the whole idea of starting fresh because it gives me something to work on other than, you know, the same old game. And it gives me a chance to try out different builds and characters and stuff that I wouldn't be doing on the regular Diablo accounts. So do you have any Diablo 3 memories? Something interesting or something that I mentioned that you can relate to? Please put it down in the comments down below because I want to hear your memories of this awesome game. I suck at playing this build. I... Ugh. I swear next like let's play video I won't be dying so much. Ooh, Paragon 5e6. No way. Alright, and I have to be a little honest. I have been drinking a little bit of wine, so if I sound like a total like nut job, it's probably because I am a total nut job. You know, I have to be honest with my viewers. But always drink responsibly, don't be a total fool. Because that's not a good thing to do. And, um, I remember when I first started trying to get set armor, my first set armor was the Black Thorns armor, and I wanted every single piece of that armor because I thought it was the best armor for my Demon Hunter, which, you know, at the time it wasn't horrible, but I could think of better choices at the time, but. You know, that's what was dropping for me, and I was like, yeah, this is the set armor I want to be wearing. I'm so cool. And I used to think I was, like, the best demon hunter, and now I realize that I'm far from it. But even if I had, like, a new leg that was, like, 
a little bit better, I would put it in, even if it didn't go with, like, my set or what I was trying to work for, like, my build. If it had more damage, I was, like, all about that damage, you know, I wanted to see it on paper. Or not paper, well, I wanted to see it on the screen that I was doing great damage while well, I learned the hard way. That's not how you do damage in Diablo 3. You know, I have so many noob things that I can, like, roast myself on. That's kind of like my word right now is roasting because everybody's doing that roasting challenge, which are really funny. Oh, I hate these guys. I hate these guys that blow up. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, I'm a tryhard. I wonder if he'll res me. Hello? Res me! Do it! Ah, took you long enough. He just said he's a troll. He's a troll. Alright. Like, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get, like, bored of Diablo 3 anytime soon. Diablo's kinda like my jam right now. Especially now that I'm not playing an MMO. I have a lot of time on my hands. Even though I should spend more of it gaming. But I bypassed my one of my goals for seasons, and that was getting more than, I think it was 520 Paragons because that was how high I got last season. So now I kind of like up the ante a little bit. It would be cool if I got 650 Paragon, which I don't think is going to be that terrible to do because, I mean, come on. Demon is only 710, and I know he doesn't play like 24-7. Alright, I hate things that blow up. I'm like raging. I remember back when I used to play, um... Oh no, he's trolling me again! When I used to play Anarchy Online, I used to get so mad that I used to bang my keyboard. Yep, if I would die in a game, I would bang my keyboard like a five-year-old. Especially if my team died, you know? Being a healer, you know, you don't want your team to die. So I used to rage. Yep. Kill this ugly guy! Woohoo! Alrighty, that wasn't too bad. And I also got a new personal bust of um, tier 60 at 758 on the two player leaderboard. Yeah! My last one was 1031. Wow, that's actually a Good improvement. Holy, holy baloney. Uh, but yeah, as always, thanks for watching and thanks for putting up with my crazy ranting and, you know, stupidness because that is what I'm good for. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe. And if you're still sticking around right now, you totally rock because you listen to all of this. I feel sorry for you. I really do. Um, but yeah, see you around. Bye bye. I'm not drunk. I can try to do this.